No matter how much technology advances, our mobile devices will never be perfect. When they aren't running out of juice, they are slow, they won't power on, or they're having problems connecting to the internet. I'm Dan Graziano, and in today's how-to, I am going to show you quick fixes for some of the most common problems Android owners face. Let's start with battery drain. Unless you own a phone like the Droid Max, you are most likely always worried about battery life. Rather than carrying around an extra battery pack or a charger, try changing your location settings. On stock Android, enter settings, click on location, and select battery saving mode. As for brightness, you should avoid using auto brightness and instead turn your screen down somewhere below halfway or to a level that's acceptable for your eyes. You should also try to avoid those gimmicky live wallpapers. All they will do is slow down your phone and drain your battery. How about those times where your device is running slow or even freezing? Phones typically begin to slow down as their internal storage fills up. Try deleting unused apps and old photos or moving them to services like Google Drive or Dropbox. If your device has one, try moving apps and photos to a microSD card. You should also close any open apps you are no longer using and delete app cache, which can be done by going to settings, clicking on apps, selecting the specific app, and choosing clear cache option. There are also free programs such as App Cache Cleaner and Clean Master that can be used to automate the process of clearing cache. Does your phone or tablet have a bunch of preloaded apps from your carrier or manufacturer that you never use? While you can't uninstall most of them, you can disable them in the apps section of the settings menu. If you are having a problem with connecting to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or your cellular network, enabling airplane mode for 30 seconds can sometimes fix the problem. Toggle it off and check again. Sometimes simply toggling the specific connection can also solve the problem. If neither of these work, try restarting your phone. Still having an issue? Try repairing your Bluetooth device or forgetting the Wi-Fi network and setting it up again. For more tips and tricks like this, be sure to visit howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.